Naval historians and divers have raised a World War II era boat from the Harlem River. They say that they believe it was once captained by an American president. N.J. Burkett shares the details. From the mud and the muck of the Harlem River, a piece of American history. The main hatchway from a World War II era warship. And not just any ship, it's believed to be the remains of PT 59, a patrol boat captained by a young naval officer named John F. Kennedy. This is the PT boat that an American president served on for three months in combat in World War II. Not only that, but John F. Kennedy rescued uh, at least 10 Marines under fire on, on this boat. It's an astonishing archaeological find. The ship is being recovered piece by piece by naval historians and divers contracted by the MTA. The Harlem River is adjacent to the MTA's Inwood Rail Yards. And so when they sent divers into the river to clear the way for a huge seawall that they're building here, the wreckage was found by the divers in six feet of water and eight feet of mud. PT-59 is not to be confused with PT-109. It was an 80-foot ship that Kennedy skippered after the PT-109 sank. It was sold as surplus after the war and changed hands many times before it was abandoned and sank in the river's north cove. It uh, sat here in the mud for 45, 46 years in sort of like the La Brea tar pits. A lot of it is preserved in, in pieces. Historians are hoping to piece together as much as they can at Battleship Cove, a maritime museum in Fall River, Massachusetts. Now we have part of that history, something you can reach and touch. Much of the work on the project was halted so the ship could be salvaged. Historians credit the agency for researching the wreck and helping to preserve it. Robert Laga is overseeing the project for the MTA. I'm glad it's done. We can proceed with the project and complete the job.